Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today, I'm changing my water pump and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video why my pump went bad and it actually burned it up and it started smoking. So I'm gonna show you why it did that and how to prevent that. But uh, I got the new water pump right here. Um, each RV or horse trailer or whatever you're doing is gonna be different. So make sure you uh, match up the model numbers on your pump and match it up with the new one. I found this on Amazon, it was like 75 bucks. So um, I'll leave a link to my specific pump down in the description below. I own a Lakota horse trailer, so it'll probably be similar on most Lakotas. Um, I've already ripped out uh, my water pump. It was very difficult right here. Um, I cut the wires because I'm going to replace those. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But I had to use this uh, thingamajig to uh, get the to get the Phillips screws out of there. Uh, this is the only thing I could get to work. It's very, very difficult. So I don't really want to bore you guys with that. But essentially, um, this water filter was right here and it just unscrewed. And then I imagine most of them are like this. Um, and you just unscrewed those two PEX connectors right there. And, and that's how you get your pump out of there. So for me, yellow is positive and white is negative. As far as connecting that back up, I have uh, new connectors in there. Um, they come with uh, these kind of connectors but I hate these connectors and they're not really waterproof. So not saying they need to be waterproof, but I, I hate these connectors. So I got these, I got these three-way connectors that I'm going to be using here. So, um, when you're taking the pump out, make sure you have a towel down, make, make sure all your valves are closed correctly. For instance, I had to close that valve right there. That way water from the water tank doesn't keep pouring from out of this pipe. Uh, you'll probably get some water out of this pipe. Um, go ahead and turn on your faucet and make sure you're not hooked up. Make sure your water pump's turned off. And that way uh, that'll help with the, the amount of water that comes out of these pipes. Okay, I'm going to start the screws in on the rubber part of this right here to get it started. Okay, since I have these special three-way connectors that you actually don't need exposed wire, they clamp down on the wire. So I'm gonna clip this end off right here, both of these. take those caps off. I'll leave a link in the Amazon description. These things are game changer. These, I love these things when you have to uh, connect three different wires in, so. And technically I don't need a third wire, but I am uh, going to explore the option of a putting an inverter in here probably, so more to come on that. Okay. I use this little screwdriver to uh, kind of get them started here and then I can come in here and kind of button it up with this one. Okay, I just put two screws in for now. Um, next, I want to make sure that we're actually uh, getting power to this pump. So um, I used my voltmeter to test this before I even bought the pump. And I know there's 12 volts coming to this pump, so it's just a matter of um, just doing a test. Especially before everything gets installed, so definitely worth your time. I'm going to stub some black and red wires for a future project.
like I said earlier, the white is the negative and the yellow is the positive. Okay. Now we grip. Make sure they're pushed all the way through really well before we crimp these. And yes, a gel comes out of that. Just grab a paper towel and clean up that gel. Now we gotta get this other one on. difficult but clean up your jail and you guys really don't have to use these three-way connectors it's just what I prefer you can use whatever you want all right now we're gonna do just a quick test I'm gonna flip the water pump on just real quick make sure it runs And it does. Finish the screws here. I'm going to make sure that they're started first to make things way easier. So you want to make sure they're started in the wood. Okay. Now we just want to tuck these wires out of the way. by screwing this back on. That nice and snug, but not too tight. Next, we're gonna put the water filter on. Now's a real good time to clean it. I've already cleaned mine. And then we're gonna screw this last one on. Okay good and snug and uh, let's do a test make sure you open this valve up there we go turn the sink on Check for leaks. With it running, might be some air in the lines, so don't worry about that. But looks like it's running perfectly. All right, now let me show you why that pump died on me and started smoking. And it's really hard to see, but these terminals right here started smoking real bad. Um, it also started making a weird sound, but it's very noticeable when it happened um, and I was able to catch it. Uh, it was making a real weird, like twitching sound. So I'm gonna pop these eight screws off on the outside here and I'll, I'll show you what it was okay just so you guys know I diagnosed this problem before I bought the pump but uh this is your pressure regulating valve and there's a spring in here this is actually stuck again this thing is supposed to there's a spring in here and it's supposed to uh, be able to fluctuate up and down and it's actually stuck again after I got it unstuck um, but it's too late. It already burned up the motor, but the water comes through here and comes out here and, and this kind of regulates it there. I just popped it clean again, but this is supposed to be able to move freely. As you can see, it was stuck and I already fixed this once and it's, it was stuck again. So, um, usually you can break this free and it'll keep working. Um, this tends to happen when... You don't use your pump that often, but I, we actually, we live in our RV. We use this pump all the time. So, um, I'm not sure what the problem is, but the pump was cheap. So I just replaced it. Um, but if, if you get this on the 
uh, upside before you burn up your motor like I did. That needs to be able to, to bounce up and down freely. Uh, this is a very common problem uh, in your RV water pumps. So uh, that's probably where you want to check first. Um, if you've already done all the tests on the outside of the pump, this is probably where you want to test first on the inside of the pump. So anyways, this is garbage and uh, we got the new pump working. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new to the channel, we full-time RV in our horse trailer. Uh, we travel with horses occasionally and we travel with dogs. Um, uh, that's because we compete in competitions. So um, for more how-tos, make sure to, to uh, subscribe. And if this was useful, please hit that like button. Please hit that notification bell. Um, share this with friends if if uh, if they need, need help with their water pump. And uh, as always, remember, get outdoors and keep RVing. I'll catch you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode.